<sighs> my fourth time filming this, and I'm still not sure how I want to do it. Hello, I am Seamus Donahue. Uh, this is not technically an EVE Online video, I'm just using EVE Online as a backdrop. Uh, this video is actually on a couple of subjects. Uh, one, why I have not been making a lot of videos uh, recently. And two, um, it's Mental Health Awareness Month, as declared by uh, the organization Mental Health America. Not to be confused with October 10th, which is um, World Mental health day uh which i think is declared by the world mental health federation i gotta double check that and in my case those two things are related uh so trigger warnings content warnings uh anxiety depression uh worthlessness self-loathing this is going to be kind of heavy stuff just so that you're aware, it's also going to be kind of long and rambly. Also, my usual caveat, uh, the way I speak when I record videos, um, I talk slowly enough that uh, native English speakers should still be able to understand me, even if uh, the YouTube video player is set to double speed. You can do that through the gear icon in the lower right corner of your video player right now. So, let's take a walk. Hmm. So, I think I will begin with a very quick summary of myself. Uh, given that I don't talk about myself too much um, in any of my videos. As a summary, I am an ex-game developer YouTuber with anxiety, depression, and a doctorate in chemical engineering who knows how to sing and dance. That pretty much summarizes most of me, I guess. I'm probably leaving a few things out, but anyway. I suspect I've had um, and, uh, depression and generalized anxiety disorder for most of my adult life, but it was only uh, diagnosed relatively recently, which is something I'll get to. Kind of struggled a bit with um, trying to get my doctorate. Uh, there was one point I always struggled with what I could only identify as stress, quote-unquote. And granted, there was definitely stress, but looking back on it now, uh, it's probably not just stress. Warp drive active. So there's one point where I almost dropped out of the uh, PhD program completely. Uh, but my doctoral advisor had convinced me to take a break for of several months and come back, uh, which I did, managed to finish the doctorate. But after that, kind of really didn't do much with it. Um, just kind of lost for uh, a small number of years. Drive now, parallel to that, uh, started playing EVE Online back in uh, September 2009. Um, according to my character sheet, I think I created this character September the 3rd, is that correct? Yeah. 2009, September the 3rd. So that's when I started playing EVE Online, and I joined EVE University uh, before the end of the month. So before the end of September. Uh, I had already joined Eve University. Warp drive active. Um, and I think in 2010 I had started teaching uh, classes of my own at Eve University. 
was inducted into the education department. Uh, 2011, uh, some of my Eve University friends were starting to play this new game called Minecraft. I was on the fence about whether or not I wanted to get the game. Um, actually, I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit. Um, I, I don't want to talk too much about my um, engineering career. Uh, other than to say I've never been in industry, uh, only in academia, uh, and even then, not significantly. Like I've said, I haven't done much with the doctorate. Um, in the past, I have seriously described myself to, uh, to people as, um, and I quote, as far as people with actual PhDs go, I'm kind of on the dumb end of the scale. Unquote. Yes, that's something I actually said about myself. Um, so yeah, not a notable engineering career by any means. At least in my opinion. But then again, negative self-talk has, uh, internal mental negative self-talk has been one of my long-standing issues. But anyway, um, 2011, some of my Unista friends start playing Minecraft. Uh, I was on the fence, so I start looking at, um, Minecraft.net, and at the time they had linked to... Uh, YouTube videos by a Paul Suarez Jr. Uh, series called How to Survive Minecraft. At the time, it had uh, only 23 episodes. Uh, I watched oh, 22 or 23, I forget which. I watched all 23 episodes that existed at the time, uh, and that convinced me, uh, yes, I want to play Minecraft. But then right after that, I suddenly had the idea, I could make a video series of my own based on EVE Online. And it would be uh, what How to Survive Minecraft was to me. A demonstration of the beginning active. steps of gameplay. Uh, from having just finished installing the game and going through uh, the first few parts of it. Getting established. And showing, the, uh, showing what gameplay was like to people who have never touched the game before. So that's when I created the uh, YouTube channel Seamus Who Eve. I, I wanted to call it Seamus Dunhui Online, but I ran into a character limit. Uh, so YouTube, at, the, at least at the time, I don't know if this is still true today, but at least at the time, YouTube would not let me add more characters onto that. Uh, so I had to cut it short at Seamus Dunhui. Um, my very first video was on bookmarking, I think. Uh, i got to double check that. And then I followed that up with uh, the How to Survive EVE Online series. At the time, I was limited to 15-minute segments in my uploads, so I had to do it as 45 videos. Warp drive active. And um, with, when I started talking to uh, other members of the EVE University staff about it, um, I got a little bit of assistance in promoting the channel, bringing it to... Um, wider attention within the EVE Online player base. And since then, uh, my subscriber count has been slowly growing. Um, I think it's been hovering at around 10,000 subscribers for a while recently. Modest, so. Not nothing, uh, not exactly a small fry, but um, not exactly a big fish either. So yeah, that's how I got this uh, YouTube channel started. And that was back in 2011. 2012, um, I was still kind of lost with what it was I wanted to do with my life. Um, and the CEO of EV University at the time, Keldum Ravon, had convinced me to uh, go to the EVE Online Fan Fest for the very first time. 
so that was April 2012, the first time I ever left the United States, first time I ever visited Reykjavik. Uh, and while I was there, I happened to meet none other than John Smedley, then president of Sony Online Entertainment. Maybe you remember them. So he had seen my videos. We got to talking, and he offered me a job at his company, and that was an opportunity I never thought I would have. I immediately jumped on it. Uh, so uh, I started, I moved to uh, San Diego, California uh, in August 2012 uh, and started work. Uh, and I worked at that company for two and a half years. Uh, first, my first assignment was on the uh, EverQuest Next project, back when there was an EverQuest Next project, and then I was moved over to the H1Z1 team. Uh, best two and a half years of my life. I like my job, I like my uh, co-workers, I like my bosses, they all like me. Uh, the only downside, in my opinion, well two downsides. Um, the public transportation drive, system in San Diego active. is a bit lacking. I tried to get my uh, driver's license before leaving uh, New York City. Oh, yeah, right. I'm a New Yorker. Grew up with the subway. Um, so tried to get my driver's license before leaving New York City, but I failed the road test. Um, I didn't want to delay my employment another two months to try that again, which would have been the minimum amount, amount of time. So I'd already picked an apartment that was within walking distance, so I just moved to California without the license um, and just walked to and from work every day. Uh, good exercise, by the way. Uh, it was about 1.7 miles, down a hill, up a hill, down a hill, up a hill. That's one way. But anyway, best two and a half years of my life, um, and it was the probably the first time in my life that I was actually, truly hopeful about my future. Then, of course, uh, two and a half years later, in February 2015, Sony Corporation sells off the subsidiary, and as part of the acquisition, uh, the company was renamed to Daybreak Game Company, and a bunch of us lost our jobs. So... Warp drive active. I tried applying to um, uh, several other AAA studios. Um, I had maybe three or four job interviews, but nothing that panned out into a job offer. Uh, that was over the course of um, the next several months. I hadn't really um, put myself out there very much, and I think I've skipped over uh, something in my life here. Basically, I've normally had, over the course of my life, I've normally had a problem with trying to put myself out there. Um, Graduating from high school, the college admissions process was um, the college admissions process was uh, seemed overwhelming to me, and drive active. I wound up just simply uh, applying to uh, one of the public colleges, and then graduating from. Uh, getting my bachelor's degree, uh, still wasn't quite sure uh, what I wanted to do, so I went into the PhD program uh, as yet another delaying tactic. Drive active. Uh, and because trying to do a job search, uh, trying to apply to various companies, I, looking back on it, I'm recognizing it was the anxiety now but I wasn't able to really identify what it was I was experiencing uh, at the time. 
So yeah, after the 2015 layoffs, um, my situation was a bit of a mixed blessing. On the one hand, I had, uh, I have the two and a half years of the AAA experience, uh, but on the other, I've never properly done a job search. Um, now, the thing about mental illness, uh, for those of you who might not uh, necessarily understand, um, the human brain is the most complicated structure in the universe that humanity knows of. And as a complicated structure, it has lots of parts and um, it can malfunction in a wide variety of ways, um, including mental illnesses. So, depending on the particular individual, the particular mental illness in question, um, ordinary, uh, every, some kinds of ordinary everyday tasks that most people would just simply take for granted are I guess overwhelming is the only word I can come up with. And some of you watching this might be wondering, isn't that all just in your head? Yeah, yeah, it is all just in my head, but my head is the core of who I am. Uh, the most important part. So the fact that it's all in my head is a reason to be more worried, not less. Anyway, um... By the point uh, that it had reached, I was attending, in fall of um, 2016, I was attending yet another uh, games industry career fair. And while I was there, I was getting advice on my resume. And the person who was advising me uh, on my resume was telling me that I'd been out of the industry long enough that I needed to have some sort of side project or something um, to uh, to account for the time. And I was thinking in terms of game development and I haven't independently made my own game. So that just Essentially, that basically demoralized me, and I st partially shut down and stopped trying. Warp drive active. Now, naturally, you, one might assume, well, you've got a YouTube channel, you've got thousands of subscribers, there's a side project for you. <laughs> Malfunctions of the mind, remember? Difficulties, ca uh, in my particular case, um, and I'm guessing this has some commonality with a lot of other people who have anxiety, but at least in my particular case, uh, I have a strong tendency to imagine potential difficulties as being uh, much worse than they actually turn out to be if, I, if and when I ever actually get around to confronting them. Yes, I know. Ongoing problem trying to fix that. Now, parallel to that, um, the first year after the layoff, I was just overwhelmed enough that I didn't want to think about the paperwork involved in trying to get my health insurance set up again. So I just simply went without health insurance for uh, the rest of uh, for the rest of uh, for most of 2015. But by the time winter came around uh, and it was the open enrollment period. Uh, I started to realize I should get that straightened out. Warp drive active. Um, there was a lot of procrastination involved, but I managed to get it in um, on uh, just a day or two under the deadline, finally. Uh, my health insurance became active March 2016. Uh, 
had an appointment, my first appointment with my primary care physician uh, in May. Uh, I asked for a referral to uh, uh, for a therapist, and I uh, first met a therapist uh, in June 2016. And I've been seeing her almost weekly uh, ever since then. So coming up on three years now. Uh, she tells me that I've made a lot of progress, uh, but of course there's still some work to be done. Uh, and it was about a year into therapy that I've, I'd finally had a diagnosis. Depression and generalized anxiety disorder. Warp drive active. Also, as a side note, uh, remember when I said that, um, I used to describe myself as kind of on the dumb end of the scale for people with PhDs. Um, at some point during the past um, couple of years, I actually stopped by my um, alma mater uh, to visit some of my uh, old professors, and I was telling one of the professors who was on my um, doctoral committee uh, for both my thesis proposal and my thesis defense uh, how I had described myself uh, as far as people with PhDs go, I'm kind of on the dummy end of the scale. And he immediately came back at me with, okay, that is not fair. It is not true, and it is not fair. And I was curious, and I was, okay, what's the difference between those two? And he said, well, first of all, it's not true. Because I know you. I, I've seen you, get, uh, I was there for your thesis defense. You're a smart guy. And second of all, it's not fair because even if it were true, that's not a constructive way to look at it. It's not going to do anything helpful for you. So yeah, one of the reasons I decided to make this video back on October 10th for World Mental Health Day, uh, I'd seen videos of various YouTubers talking about their own mental health issues. Um, so I figured for now that it's May, Mental Health Awareness Month, uh, I figured I'd do the same. Um, Statistically, uh, I forget what the statistics are. I keep forgetting to look them up, uh, despite the fact this is my fourth time filming this. But statistically, um, I forget if it's one-fifth or one-third, but somewhere in that range, a, a significant fraction of, adult, uh, of adults in the United States of America, um, at, at any given point in time, a significant fra fraction of them suffer from some form of mental illness. Might be short term, might be longer term. And historically, um, mental illness has been, in our society, has been uh, heavily stigmatized. But given that it's so common, stigmatizing it is not constructive. Generally speaking, um, helping both oneself and to help and helping others uh, to live healthier lives. I mean, I'm talking on not necessarily on an individual scale, but definitely on a societal scale. Societal scale um, is of benefit to society uh, as a whole. Um, and for more explanation on that concept, I'll point you to um, the channel uh, Kurzgesagt. In a nutshell, I believe their video on, I think they called it altruistic nihilism. That's worth a good watch. Uh, don't mention that I sent them, uh, that I sent you to them. Uh, they don't know who I am. Um, but anyway, a significant fraction of you watching this 
probably also suffer from mental we'll illnesses of your own. Activity. So I imagine some of you uh, look up to me at least or, or admire me in some capacity because uh, I know I've gotten compliments on how helpful uh, some of my videos have been. Granted, even with some of the production flaws in some of my past videos. Um, so yeah, uh, it's also something that I struggle with. You're not alone. Um, Warp drive active. And suffering from a mental illness um, doesn't make you a failure. You've just got additional challenges to cope with that most others don't. That's all that that means. All right, it's not a moral failing on your part that your mind is malfunctioning. Keep in mind that same, I, I say that as someone to whom that same statement also applies. Uh, just because my mind is malfunctioning, that's not a moral statement, uh, that's not a negative moral statement on me. Uh, to paraphrase a meme I once saw somewhere, um, I, I once saw a meme somewhere that said, um, people with mental illnesses are freaking awesome because I can't think of anything scarier than having to fight one's own mind every single day. I'm paraphrasing a little bit. I try to avoid using pro, uh, profanities and vulgarities on, on this channel. So yeah, um, you're not alone. Of course, on top of all of this, uh, last year around March and April, I was just starting to get back into the habit of making YouTube videos on a regular basis again. And then in May 2018, my mom died of a heart attack. So that was really rough and I shut down again. Warp drive active. But anyway, um, we're all going to die someday, unless there's some sort of big miracle breakthrough in medical science uh, in the next few decades. Uh, we're all going to die someday, uh, and in the spirit of trying to hopefully make that later rather than sooner, I'm trying to pick myself back up again and make something of uh, the rest of my life, make something productive out of the rest of my life. So I figured the a good uh, first step would be once again getting back into making videos on a regular basis. So hopefully, if I can stay out of my own way, you will be seeing more content on this channel. Some of it even online, some of it Elite Dangerous, some of it other games. Um, I will see where I go from here. Drive active. Uh, I've been even uh, toying with the idea of uh, setting up a Patreon, but um, I don't have anything that uh, I would consider presentable on that front yet. Uh, by the way, I am aware of uh, various production issues on um, some of the videos that I've made in recent years, uh, so I will be trying to address those uh, going forward so that I don't Drive make the same active. mistakes. No guarantees. But yeah. Uh, and basically, yeah, that's some that's covers the two parts I wanted to talk about in this video. Um, mental illness. For those of you who have it, you're not alone. I've got it too. Um, there is hope. Warp drive active. Don't give up. Uh, and my very long uh, unannounced hiatus uh, will hopefully be coming to a close now. And 
with that, I'm going to say, you know what? This has been a good walk and talk. So, I'm going to dock up. Uh, for those, so, uh, if you've stayed with me this far in listening to this video, uh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, I apologize for straining your patience. Um, there I go with the negative self-talk again. Docking permission requested. Docking but anyway, request fly safe, and thank you for watching. I forgot to mention, um, given that it is uh, Mental Health Awareness Month, or for the United Kingdom, uh, Mental Health Awareness Week, uh, on May the 19th, uh, Eve University will be hosting a guest speaker, uh, uh, Tovanis from Broadcast for Reps, which is a mental health focused subcommunity within the Eve Online player base. I will put links in the description for both the Eve University forum thread and for um, and for the YouTube video from CCP Games talking about broadcast for reps.